series The Haunting of Hill House, which is based on a 1959 gothic horror novel by Shirley Jackson and created by the American filmmaker Mike Flanagan, who is known for such films as Hush, Oculus, and more recently Gerald's Game, a uh, Stephen King adaptation, which I quite liked. Director Flanagan himself is quite a prolific filmmaker and best known for his horror movies and seemingly quite literate in the genre, having already done the Stephen King adaptation, now this, and is apparently signed up to do a sequel to The Shining next year, which is nice. It's nice to see the mainstream give backing to directors who are treating the horror genre seriously. That said, to see such a short novel such as Jackson's adapted to a 10 episode uh, Netflix series rang alarm bells, especially since the novel had already been adapted to a fine feature length film in 1963 and a not so fine film in 1999. Although Flanagan's series is not a direct adaptation of the novel, one gets the feeling when you see 10 episodes that this was the pitch to Netflix and that they were trying to sell to you know, the, the binge culture and the run up to Halloween, which unfortunately runs the risk of sacrificing substance or putting quantity over quality. All that said, I'm a fan of Jackson's original novel and the gothic horror traditions in general, so I was excited to see what Flanagan could do. Although flawed, I, for the most part, enjoyed The Haunting of Hill House it was nice to see gothic horror on the small screen and although fairly recently well represented traditional ghost narratives seem to go against a lot of the visceral violence and dramatic hooks of television um, so from the outset the filmmaker's intentions seem noble enough and it's good to see him take his time to put his style into what he is doing which shows a reverence and respect for the horror genre be that as it may, the series has some problems, a few big problems, um, that may conspire to undermine uh, me giving a general recommendation. Flanagan chooses to shift the focus from the story of the original novel to that of an entirely different family affected by the experiences in the house. Um, it's not really faithful to the original plot, but it does manage to take themes and character archetypes from Jackson's novel and turn them into something new. Considering that Robert Wise's 1963 fateful adaptation had already been critically lauded, this seemed like a smart choice, allowing uh, Flanagan to write himself out from under the shadow of material that had already been treated with respect. Eventually, however, it's the series' connections to the source material that may be its undoing. In Jackson's novel, the psychological horror of its main characters and the suggestion of the house's malevolent effects are will live in the mind after the conclusion. Although it builds its foundations on its main character's mental state, uh, Flanagan's series eventually collapses into the full-on supernatural and that which was merely suggested earlier is brought out into the open. Uh, just like a cheap jump scare, this can only serve to undermine the depth of storytelling and hence the atmosphere and anticipation that should come with that. It's frustrating because Flanagan in the first two thirds of the series has done a good job to build characters and a strong story, but the plot veers off in a strange direction by the finale uh, which just seems to undermine what came before and offers a resolution that is just strange and jarring for want of a better word. It's a strange one because although flawed and has some some big problems I think a lot of people will still enjoy this series. Uh, the director has a chance uh, to show a love for the genre um, his skill and his literacy of horror in general. And I think he walks away with some respect from this project and I would still be interested to see what he does in the future. Having that said, one would be best served bailing after the eighth or ninth episode. Um, but if you've stuck with it to that point, your curiosity is probably going to get the better of you. You've been warned. So if you're interested, you should watch The Haunting of Hill House. 
But if you're going to give away 10 hours of your life, you might as well sit down and watch Robert Wise's 1963 film. Or better still, you should probably read Shirley Jackson's original novel. You should read more. We all should read more. <laughs>